Hey everyone, we're live. It's Friday at 10 o'clock. Come on, guys. Uh, I'm here with Adam Colette. Uh, we, we're going to do these uh, hopefully, well, uh, hopefully, every Friday now at 10 o'clock. Uh, five question, quad, quad, five. Mm, maybe I should come up with a new name for it. Five question Friday. Um, I'm just going to pick a person at random. Adam knew about this ahead of time because he was my first victim. But I'm just going to pick a person at random uh, every Friday. They're not going to know who it is. They're not going to know what the questions are. So it'll be, it'll be super fun and hopefully uh, insightful for all of you so you get to know us better. So Adam's been here for two years. Two years? About two and a half years. Okay. That wasn't a question, by the way. I still have five. Um, he, uh, oh, some, somebody might be watching our video. There we go. Ashley's watching. Hey, Ashley. Um, okay, so here's my five. I'm going to jump right into the five questions here. First question, where did you and your wife meet? Um, I, I actually met my wife at a bar. I, uh, in my prior life, put myself through college. Uh, uh, I ran a bar for seven and a half years, and uh, she just happened to show up uh, one night with some friends on a sorority night. And, uh, sorority night? Sorority night. All right. And uh, just totally uh, a friend that was working with me kind of knew her and just kind of asked, uh, asked how she knew her and if, uh, if I could get her number and stuff. And, and one thing led to another. I actually uh, kind of... Uh, asked her out on a blind date to go to a, a hay rack ride around Halloween, and and uh, it was uh, it was a done deal from then. So hay rack ride—that's very Midwest of us. That is very Midwest. Of All us. right, absolutely. All right, okay. So and then this okay, so question one A. Then how long have you been together? <laughs> um, we we've been together for about fifteen years. Awesome. Um, we've been married. Uh, it'll be eleven years in in July. So cool. Um, Two, two beautiful children and, and just uh, living life. Love it. Awesome. Okay, so that leads into my next question. Question two. Uh, where did your kids' names come from? Um, so my first uh, daughter, Jacqueline, she's eight. Um, and uh, my wife, Taryn, her grandmother is named uh, Jackie. Um, and so we went, uh, we went with Jacqueline. And... Uh, um, and then Brooklyn, who is uh, is five, going to be six, uh, coming up in July. Um, we wanted to go with the L Y N, so Jacqueline and oh. Brooklyn. And so and so the names that we picked from uh, came with L L Y N names. Can you that. search that on Google? Is that like a searchable? I, you know thing? what? I I don't know if I was really one to kind of narrow those down. <laughs> like, let's be honest. So okay. <laughs> it would have been interesting if we had a boy. Sure. You know, because oh. because then what would what would we have done? Wow. So yeah, I don't I, even know. I don't even know what the options would have been at that point in time. So okay. <laughs> but uh, all right. The other cool thing with our names is uh, we have a ton of mics in a, in our family. Okay. And uh, and so kind of knowing that we were going to have two kids and then we had two girls, what were we going to do with Mike or Michael? Mm -hmm. And so uh, Brooklyn's middle name is actually Michael. Oh, cool. M-Y-K-A-L. Nice. So cool, cool kind of story to keep it in the family and, awesome. and stuff like that. So. That's cool. All right. So uh, question number three. A lot of people may know this. A lot of his nurses may know this already. Um, but what, what's your hobbies? What do you, do you collect anything? Sure, absolutely. Uh, you know, one of my one of my big collections on my desk is is my shot glass collection. And uh, looking around, I just took them all home probably in the last couple months. You ruined my prop here, I right? Don't, I don't exactly. Know. So right. I I think the ones my nurses have brought that have been on my desk. Uh, I I had about a hundred lined up around my desk because uh, as Rich went to Boston a couple weeks mm -hmm. ago and, and he brought me one from Cheers, the bar Cheers, which was a huge add to my collection. So um, maybe I'll have to post some pictures of, of my collection that yeah. I have at home and stuff, but have, have always just collected those uh, just as a, as a fun piece when I go places or when I have friends go places. Sure. Um, you know, Richard and I have done some meet and greets and stuff like that, and it's always fun. We always go out and, and try to find a cool one to right. add and stuff like well, that. That's always so. cool to see, like, your nurses will send you shot glasses from different places around the country, which is really cool. You yeah. had some really interesting ones. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And it's fun to see, and I, I love when they tell me I got a package coming on the way because <laughs> I know they've been out there working hard yep. for it and stuff. So I think the other the other thing people know me in the office for is, is my golf game. So yep. I'm, uh, I'm no... Uh, uh, I'm no scratch golfer, but uh, I, I'm not scared to take anybody on at any time. Hey, so. that's and there's a golf course like right out here too. Yeah, so it's, if you're in town, yeah, absolutely. There's your guy. Or you have a meet and greet. Uh, oh yeah, meet and greet idea that mm -hmm. uh, that we can play around a golf. We're we're always down for that as well. I am not good at golf <laughs> at all. I'll drive the cart, but this guy, this is your guy here. So, all right, question four: uh, favorite vacation as a kid. Um, you know, I would say probably my favorite vacation uh, down in the uh, Charleston, South Carolina area, um, kind of a third set of grandparents uh, uh, when they retired. 
um, went down to, uh, it's down by Kiowa and Seabrook Island. They bought a house down there and, and I was lucky enough to uh, um, go a couple times, once with my brother, uh, once as a family. Um, and then I've taken a friend down there and then I took Taryn, Taryn down there before we got married for, for a spring break weekend in college and stuff. And, and just just right on the ocean and it's quiet. It's not a, it's not a real touristy area. Sure. But, but uh, Kiwa and Seabrook Island, south of Charleston. Good beaches there? Is oh, there? just hands yeah. down. Just just nice sandy beaches, tides go in and out. You always nice. see dolphins going around and stuff oh, like cool. that. So uh, definitely a cool area if you're out traveling in, in the South Carolina area. Uh, try to get down to those areas for sure. Awesome. Okay, so last question, question five. If you could take a trip anywhere, where would you go? Man, I, I, I don't know if I can narrow it down to one, but I'll tell you two bucket list items of mine. Obviously, going back to the, the golf one, um, you know, I'd love to, to get out to Scotland, Ireland, uh, play some of the, play the old course, mm -hmm. um, kind of see, see some of those places. But yeah. um, it, it's funny, a traveler brought this up the other day. I, I saw it on our Facebook. I, I've always been interested in Everest. And uh, I, really? don't, I don't think that I would ever try to make the ascent yeah. um, to the top, but I, I think one of my bucket list items is, is to at least make, make the trip to base camp. I, I think it would, be, it would be a fun hike to just go sure. up there um, and just see what it's all about and see the scenery and the beauty, sure. the beauty of it. So I, that's always in the back of my mind of uh, I'm wow. no mountaineer or anything like that, wow. but, but definitely on my list. And, and one of our client managers, Bippin, um, is, is from India and, and actually has friends that uh, um, do guides and tours and really? stuff like that. So we've, we've already talked about that as some, maybe a bucket list thing to do together. Uh, to get out there, so that, that would be awesome. It, it would be, it would be really cool. So uh, once again, he could do that. I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it either. I, but mm, it, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm down to try it. Hey, why not? It so, would be awesome. Cool. All right. So I don't know how long did that run. It wasn't uh, what, what, ten minutes or so. So Absolutely. hopefully these uh, these will every Friday will get you, so you can get to know our uh, recruiters or anybody here in the office better. Um, like I said, he kind of knew about it ahead of time. He didn't know the questions, but uh, so hopefully. The people, in, you know, in the next couple of weeks will be surprised by it. We'll get some, uh, we'll get some interesting answers like this. I didn't know half of this stuff, honestly. So Everest, <laughs> it's really cool. All right, so have a good Friday if you're working this weekend. Um, stay safe, have fun, and uh, we'll see you next week. Absolutely, be safe on your holiday weekend. I know a lot of people out there uh, are working, and we appreciate what you do um, and the sacrifices that you make to uh, in the healthcare industry because we we all know it's a 24-hour business. And uh, we can't thank you enough for, for the things that you're doing out yeah. there. So. None of this would be here without you guys. So. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thanks a lot. Have a great week. All right. See you.